So this fight is all about electoral boundaries and fairness. Cottagers who have properties along the lake say that for years, farmers have had more decision-making power in the RM than they do. So right now, more than half of the RM's voters are in one single division. There are six divisions in the RM, but more than half of them are in one of those divisions, about a thousand cottagers in division four. And what that means is one councillor and one vote at the table, even though they have more than half the taxpayers in the RM, but there are two neighboring divisions that have about 70 farmers each in those divisions, and they both have a councillor at the table as well. This is about fair representation by rate prior population, it's about revising a 108-year-old boundary. It's about counselor, equitable councillor workloads. You can't have one councillor with 1,000 people and two councillors who have 70 people each. Okay, that's ultimately the issue. It's about competent governance. And they, everyone has to admit, admit in the last six months, this RM has not been governed with competence. So this new boundary gives cottagers the majority of seats at the council table, but cottagers say the current council is dragging its feet rather than immediately sending the new boundaries to the provincial government for its approval. Instead, council's holding a period of consultation to allow RM residents to continue sharing their feedback on the new boundaries, despite the fact that the majority of voters have already approved the new, the new boundary. Now, farmers are worried the cottagers are gonna use this new power to increase taxes for them. So they're using this consultation period to try to convince the minister to leave the power with the farmers. No matter what happens, by the end of the month, this decision is gonna be thrown into the provincial government's lap and it will have to figure out what to do. Jeff Leo, CBC News, Regina.